Hey, how's it going guys? Wonderful here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best scripts for Jailbreak. And these scripts have auto robs with every robbery in the whole game, which allows you to get over 10 million cash per day. And on top of that, both of the scripts are completely free. You can find them in the links in the description. And I've made over 230,000 cash in just the past 30 minutes with this script. And if you want to use either of these scripts on PC or mobile, you're going to need to use an executor like Vega X, which I'm going to have a link in the description for this. It has scripts for every game you could possibly need. On top of that, Vega X is completely free and the key system here lasts two times longer than every other executor on the market right now. So yeah, links for this and all the scripts are going to be in the description down below. But yeah, starting off with my favorite GUI that has to be Jailbreaker V2 Reborn, which it actually used to have a different version. This one is way better. I've yet to crash one time or get kicked from the game one time. It's so smooth. You could probably leave this on overnight and get 10 million cash. And by the way, one of the first things you're going to want to do on this script is turn off chat spam, which is located in the second tab right here for settings, because if you have this on, if you can check the chat, it's going to start like spamming things about this script in the chat. As you can see, these are my estimated earnings per hour without any game passes. So if you have some more game passes, it's going to be a lot faster. It shows you right here which robberies you can do. So you can do cargo plane, train, jewelry, every single robbery in the game. This is one of the only ones that does the mansion for you as well, which you probably just saw me doing earlier. That gives you around 13 to 17,000 cash. But yeah, it's just so smooth as you can see. It's also completely undetected. So if you're using this in a VIP server, there's zero chance of you getting banned. It's also extremely simple. The second you execute the script, it's going to say toggled right here. And then once it's toggled, it's just going to start auto farming for you. You can check this box if you want to turn it off. You can also keep this box checked here that says small server, which is going to make it so you're in a server with the least amount of people possible. So maybe one to two people at a time gives you a way less chance of getting banned. And I've been using this on my main account for about a year now, and I've not gotten banned once. I'm at like 30 million cash already. There's also an auto open safe. So as you can see right there, just open up one of my safes. There's the second one. Just click this button right here and you can toggle it on and off. You could hide the UI whenever you join a new server. So if you don't want this to open up every time, it's going to be hidden. It shows you the status right here. So right now there's no robberies open, so it's just waiting. And here we go. It's teleporting us to the gas station now. You can see how much money we've earned so far along with how much time we've spent. So teleporting us here, it, it wakes a few seconds just so you don't get kicked from the game, but it's really, really fast. There we go, 750 bucks. And as you can see from these three tips right here, only change settings like the speed and stuff if you know what you're doing. Like don't change the, um, the kill aura range too high or don't change the instant robbery teleport. You wanna keep basically keep everything on default. Unless you want to be like extra smooth if, if you're having any lag backs, which is when your character goes like back and forth, back and forth. Come over here and change the teleport speed, which is these uh, three features right here. They're kind of good by default. I've never had any problems with it, but it just tells you here, lower your teleport speed to avoid that. Of course, never use these on your main account. If you are, be in a VIP server and you'll be fine. It's really dumb what I'm doing right here, but I don't really care about this specific account. But yeah, as you can see, it, I did die there. That's one unfortunate thing, but it's just going to teleport us straight back there. Um, yeah, pretty easy to use this. I'd recommend you're in a VIP server or in an alt account. And then you could just slowly drop your cash back to your main account if you want to, or just buy a bunch of cars. Um, here's credits to Min, Prizzy, Norb, Kieran, and Faye for making this whole script. Really, really good GY. The kill aura is really easy to do as well. It's toggled on by default, and one of the first things you're going to want to do with this script is turn off this chat spam. Of course, you don't really want that, but I'm really glad they let you turn this off. Um, you can also change the custom chat spam messages, so if you want to have it say something for yourself to make it look like you're online, maybe you can do that as well. Here's the power plant cell value. You can change that if you want to. I mean, I recommend you keep these on their defaults because it doesn't really matter. Here's robbing the power plant right now. You're going to see it's going to stop at 6700. Um, here's some specific settings you can change. I'd recommend you keep up on defaults though. Yeah, as you can see right here, right when we reach 6700 cash, it's going to sell it. So 6800, 750, 700, 650, and okay, so it was off by 100. Who really cares? That's a really good deal right there. Um, what are we doing now? Let's check the status. Okay, filling bag, teleporting back to Volcano Base. 2K. Okay, not too bad. We have uh, teleports here. So, or not teleports, I mean toggles. So you can toggle these off if you want to. 
For example, let's say you don't want the donut and gas station. Boom. Boom. Now it's not going to rob those anymore. I mean, of course, I kind of want it on, so I'm going to keep it on. It's free cash. And then this final tab down here, which has like a tic-tac-toe type of board on it, is the webhook logging. So you can send all these updates straight to your Discord server. Type in the URL right here. If you don't know how to do that, go into Discord. Click on make a new server. So you have like your own server. Click on the settings for that server. Go to webhook integrations and then paste the URL right here. You can also change if it's going to tell you the status about the auto rob or the reward spinner. So if you want to like get some stuff from your safes. You can also copy your, your join code if you want to have someone join you. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all there is on here. Yeah, so there's nothing else I can really show you besides the settings for Killora, I guess. So you can change the gun for this. It just automatically gets that gun for you. And look at that. Just after like three minutes of auto farming, I'm already at 255,000 cash, which is really, really good. And of course, again, if you want to be like this guy and have 10 million cash, just get a bunch of game passes, get a VIP server, leave it on overnight and you'll be fine. It's an insanely better deal than if you were to buy some cash from here. Like for example, I just spent like 45 minutes auto farming and I have more than the 8,000 or what is this? 5,000 Robux value. Yeah. Uh, 4,000. That's just completely insane. I would never buy that if I was you. If you want to buy these game passes here, I'd recommend you buy duffel bag VIP. Uh, I think that's pretty much all you need to be honest. So yeah, the duffel bag is going to let you get more in your bag, which is something you can't do with cheats, of course. So you need that. The VIP, I think it just gives you more per robbery. But yeah, pretty cool feature here. I'm going to move on to the next GY here and show you the features it has. All right, so I just loaded up into a new game with Vega X. As you can see, it's running at 60 FPS, really, really smooth on Moomoo Moo Player. I'm going to click on Executor, paste and Execute, and this new script should load up for us. There we go. So Project Auto V4 is the newest script for this. I definitely still recommend you use the Jailbreaker V2 just because this one doesn't have as many features and it's not as smooth, but it is really good GUI if you want an alternative. For example, let's say the uh, main thing is not working for you. This is way less laggy, I've noticed, so it, it keeps your FPS a lot higher. As you can see, it's around 40 to 50 to 60, and then with Jailbreaker, it would be around 20. So if you're on a worse PC, you can use Project Auto V4. They have this right here, which is which logs more things than Project... Uh, or jailbreaker did as you can see the auto farm is about just as fast you have the information tab here so you can see how much stuff you have so do you have like enough cash earned um these are the statuses for the robbery so the same thing as the other gy and then i don't think this one lets you disable it which is one unfortunate thing yeah so if you want to disable this you kind of have to check every single box here let me just look around and see if there's anything else for this no oh here it is so script toggled i guess if you uncheck this it's gonna stop it yep so it just puts you straight in the air right after you uncheck it and then if i check it again we should go back in the action let's see okay so waiting for locations right now um yeah so everything is completely closed except for the plane so it should be robbing the plane actually Anyway, still a really, really good GUI, and I think this one is not spamming the chat. Yeah, so there's no chat spam on this script if you want to use this. It's pretty cool. They have a speed for everything you can change. They have a rejoin on kick, which is one feature the other GUI does not have. You know what? Honestly, if you want to, like, debate which one of these is better, I couldn't really tell you because this one has more features, but the base auto rob does not run as well. In my personal experience, I crash a lot more with this one. But at the end of the day, this one has a lot more features. For example, if you want to get a ton of cash really fast, you can turn on hyper mode or speedy mode. There's a no spinner weight, so everything that you like hold E, it's going to take that off for you. Here's the sell amount for the power plant again. Robbery cooldown. You can change the quality of the game if you're lagging a little bit. But again, as I pointed out earlier, this one runs way smoother than the other GUI. So let's see this. Um... This one, I noticed, does put you in the whole cutscene. On Jailbreaker V2, it skips the whole cutscene, so... I mean, I guess... I don't know if that really matters. But you know what? Let's just test side by side. I just checked the Jailbreaker Mansion Farm. Now let's see how far... Uh, Project Auto V4 Mansion Farm is. So it seems to be shooting at the same speed. It drops the gun, reloads it. Yep. Okay, about the same speed, I'd say. And then once he's dead, what happens? 
Okay. Uh, yeah, 13,000 cash. Not bad. Kind of the same thing. This one might actually be a little bit faster than the other one, if I'm being honest. And the toggle for this script is right shift. So if you want to take it off, you can just click that button. Um, info, dev is pasta. You can join their Discord server at .gg slash project auto. You have... Yeah, I pretty, think that's pretty much it for this script. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to let you guys watch this run for a little bit. See some other robberies that it's doing. So right now we're doing it in the donut store. I've noticed this GUI teleports a little bit slower. But again, that might be to like keep you safe from getting kicked. Puts you on top of the building. Same as Jailbreaker. And then it should any second now. There we go. We got it back. And what else is open here if we can check... So gas station is open. That's probably what it's going to go to next. Yeah, traveling to gas. And within 10 seconds, we should probably have our money. Okay, yeah, so I just noticed down here, my bounty is already at 5,000, which is pretty cool. And we're already at 278,000 cash, which is 20,000 more than we had when we started using it. Let's see how much we have so far. So, okay, 200k per hour. Same thing as the other GUI. We have 4 minutes, 15k cash. Of course, if you're running the script, you might want to do overnight farming, so you'd not really be online on your computer. You could just leave this running in the background. But I mean, it does the math for you. Unfortunately, this doesn't really work too well because this doesn't show you exactly how much you're going to be making per hour. It's just based on the ratio of these two. So for example, if you were to rob something right now, this number would go up really, really high. But every second that we're not getting money, it's just going down. So it's actually way higher than it is right now. I'd say it's probably at like 250. Yeah, there we go. 232,000 cash per hour. It could probably be even higher, honestly. What is it robbing right now? Yeah, the train. So it tells you a whole percentage bar. And then we should be able to tell here once it robs this. Um, By the way, I think all these scripts have a thing where when someone, when a cop comes towards you, it's going to automatically leave. I don't know if there's something on here for that, but... Jailbreaker v v2 had that. Okay, 214. And now we're making okay, 211,000. Anyway, you get the idea. Pretty cool GY. I'm not gonna sit here and just show you the auto farm all day. You could use it yourself. But yeah, it's up to you which script you want to use. I personally like Jailbreaker a lot more, but this one seems to be working pretty well so far. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you can. And as always, peace.